Are you in a type of industry where you have recurring invoices? You send the same amount or you send um, a client an invoice every single month or potentially every other week or maybe even weekly, even annually. Do you have any kind of recurrence in your business? Well, QuickBooks can help you out with that. But today we're specifically talking about recurring invoices, how to set them up. Because a lot of us have gotten on this setup where we are on recurring monthly fees with our clients. And um, when you're in a recurring situation, what you don't wanna be doing is taking tons of time to invoice your clients every single month. So if we can make that process smooth and easy, and it's all set up in the system and we're not losing any revenue because we forgot to invoice somebody, that is hugely valuable. So that is what this video is about today. We're gonna talk about how to set up recurring invoices in QuickBooks Online. All right, so we have created also a nice little checklist for you guys because as I was going through all these things, I was like, you know, maybe it's good to have all of this in one place. And you can say, yes, I did that. I set that up, I set that up, I set that up. And when you do these things consistently, it will make your bookkeeping and your accounting that much better. So we've done this series of how to do stuff on QuickBooks Online. Grab the checklist in the description box below. It is free and it's just there to sort of help you, reminder, you know, things to set up and things to do to optimize your QuickBooks. And there's links to videos and stuff to make it really easy for you guys. Well, enough of that. Thank you for being here. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. This is the type of information I like to bring to you guys. And um, give us any comments in the comment section below. We'd love to hear if this is helpful. Um, but let's go ahead and get into how to set up recurring transactions in QuickBooks Online. Well, here we are again in the sample company of QuickBooks Online. And today we're gonna to talk about how to create recurring invoices. So you might have invoices that you send to your clients and it's great if you have recurring income. That's always something that we love to see in any small business. Um, but you might have invoices and every single time you need to go, you go to create an invoice. And I have I have a separate video on this, but you go to create an invoice, you cr create the customer, you send it off, you put everything in, but you might be thinking, wow, I'm sending the same invoice over and over and over every single time. Even if you found ways to make this faster for yourself, I want you to think about making things recurring, okay? So there's an option if you have a current invoice, there's an option to make it recurring directly from this bottom section. You can click make recurring. Some people, when they have a recurring invoice, go to over here and they go to copy and make the make it um, a new invoice that way. Um, and But if you find yourself making the same invoice over and over and over again, I highly recommend you considering this make recurring, okay? So the way that that did is it pre-populated with an invoice that was already there. So in that situation, let's go back. This invoice was for Shara Barnett. It was for landscaping services and um, rock, um, a rock fountain, if that's the case. Um, or this was for sprinklers and a rock fountain. Um, probably not something that would be recurring, um, but if it was, you could go to make recurring and it would pre-populate everything here. But since my guess is this is probably not something that would be recurring, let's uh, leave that. And let's do a recurring invoice from scratch. So this is a landscaping company and something that would be very common to have as a recurring revenue item for landscaping would be kind of monthly maintenance of someone's garden. Let's go up here to the gear icon and we're gonna go over here to lists and go to recurring transactions. From recurring transactions, we're gonna go to new and we have lots of different recurring transactions that are an option to us, but we're gonna go to invoice and click okay. And so now here we are with a blank template. We can do this for anybody and we can start out fresh. Um, you know, the other way that I showed you was if you wanna make a recurring invoice from an existing invoice, but this is where we're starting fresh. So let's go ahead and call this, um, let's go ahead and call this Clara's uh, Landscaping. And then we're gonna go monthly, okay? 
And since it's a monthly, we're going to schedule it. You can also do it as just a reminder to, to invoice, and you can also do an unscheduled one. But I really think the benefit of a recurring invoice is when you schedule it. You can also have it created in advance if you want to review it before it goes out. I'm going to have it create five days in advance so it can review. And then the customer, um, I didn't, I, you know what, let's, let's add me. Let's add me. Why not? You could always add a customer. Now, my name is Hannah, but my business name is Clara CFO Group. So that's why we're doing that. All right. And let's go with, we're going to go to hello at Clara CFO. That's how you can always get a hold of us. And then the way that we're going to do this is we are going to automatically send an email and we're not going to print it. And I might also have this include any unbilled charges. That's something that you can do. And the cool part about this is that, um, it, you know, maybe if the landscapers had also included like a certain amount of mulch every single time, or maybe some additional fertilizer or something like that, they could um, charge it to the account and it could get added. Okay. Now that might not be for everybody. Let's leave it off for now. And then the interval most recurring invoices are going to be kind of um, weekly or monthly, I would imagine. So let's go ahead and do monthly. Most of the ones I set up are monthly. And um, we bill on the fifth day of every month. Okay. You can also do every other. So let's say you do by like every two weeks. What is that? By bi weekly. <laughs> every two weeks on a Monday starting you know, you can put a specific date. Let's say it starts today. That means the first time would be on the 28th and then it would end after you can do after how many occurrences, or you can do this after, you know, have it go in perpetuity or you can have an ending date. So this is really great depending on the type of contract you have. If you have a six month contract, you can do it monthly for six months. If you have a six week contract, you can do it weekly for that many times. You know, this is where it can really help you streamline and not lose any revenue. You know, you could potentially get into a position where you leave some money on the table by not billing properly, or maybe not, you know, um, really thinking through everything or not starting your billing early enough. So this is a really, really, really helpful tool to make sure you're capturing all of the revenue that's really due to you at the end of the day. Um, but we're going to go back to monthly, and this is going to bill on the fifth of every month. And um, we're going to start it now. Let's start it now. And then it's going to end um, at the end of the year. Okay. And then the terms are there. Maybe um, you want it to be due on receipt, for example, and you can go ahead, ahead here and do, um, let's do, let's do some weekly gardening service. Okay. Maybe it's a weekly gardening service and you do four times a week at a rate of a hundred per time. And that means that Clara is going to get billed $400 a month. And that invoice is going to go out every single month. No. Um, and then you would just save the template. Okay. And you can also add taxes to this too. So if you know that this service, for example, has a local tax rate, you can, um, you know, make sure that you have the right tax in there that can be really complicated. So having this be something you don't have to think about every single time is hugely helpful. Okay. Um, so that is a recurring template. You have some options here to customize based on your exam or your exact situation, but I highly recommend using recurring invoices if you have any type of recurring income because it can be very, very helpful to you. So this is a sample company, so we don't have payments turned on in this situation. But if it was a real working account, <laughs> um, there would be an option here to turn on payments. So if you turn on payments to either select ACH or credit cards, then you can check both of those boxes. Or if you only want to accept ACH or only credit cards, that's an option. And then when that customer gets that, there's an option for them to click a button that says set as recurring. So if you want recurring payments, you can walk them through that process so that, cause they have to authorize a recurring payment. You can't just set them up for a recurring payment. You can set them up on a recurring invoice, but they have to opt in to a recurring payment.
Okay. So that's done on the customer side and it's seen on the invoice. Um, all right. I don't have an example of that. I can't show you that piece, but that, uh, this is how you set up the recurring invoices. All right. Well, I hope, oops. And look, I've already got an error here. This says set up every two months. So I'm going to go in and edit that. And then I'm going to take out every month. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Every month. These are always, um, you can always edit these. If you want to pause them, you can, you can skip one and you can delete or duplicate. So it's really helpful. All right, you guys hope that helps. Here's another thing you can do with QuickBooks online. All right. Well, again, hope that was really helpful for you guys. Please let me know if there's any questions or anything I didn't cover in the comment section. And if there's anything else that you're like, hey, I'd love to know how to do this or that in QuickBooks Online. This series is coming to a close. We're almost at the end of it. So please let me know because I can still make videos if there is something that you'd really like to learn. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here and we'll see you soon. Bye.